new DPW employees. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I did talk to the Public Works Director today, and my information from him is that they wish to withdraw that article. It would be 26. Which one? Article, article 26. 26. New DPW employees. That won't be the finished article number. No, but that's the, as we have them right, right now. Right. Article 26. That's the one they came with us last week, and we, and we sent them back. Um, uh, I understand. You know, he he realizes that there are a lot of money articles, um, and this one did need some work on it. It did. Um, however, that just still doesn't affect the need that we still need workers at Public Works and. Uh, and uh, as we move forward, I would ask that we ask the Public Works Director um, for next year to talk about how many, how many new roads have we put on in the past, say, 10 years? How many new houses or condominium projects or properties do we have that we continue to pick up carts at? How many new properties there are that we have to service for sewer? Uh, we continue to add more and more to this town, put on more roads. I can think of three this year. There was the McCar McCarran Drive. There was Litchfield Drive. There was uh, the, the one down here, uh, Hilliard. 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 We have yeah. Sweat Drive. There's four roads right there that are going to have new houses on them, that new roads that we need to maintain. And we continue to ask our public works to do more and more with less and less. And it's come to a tipping point where you can't keep asking people to do it all and not expect to give them the manpower to do it. So we will take that one off the boards. I have something that sort of segues into this. Okay. It, it, it regards another Warren article. <clears throat> and this is uh, information that someone brought forth to me. And <clears throat> it is somebody that's in the know and knows how the budget works and everything. And they brought, they were mentioning that since those side-armed um, Packers have been bought that even with $200,000 worth of um, repairs to the sidearms, the town has still saved a million point two oh, yeah. in uh, employee <coughs> cost. Mm -hmm. yep. And that doesn't include all of the potential uh, workmen's comp and, you know, something that could any. There were a lot of, there at one point we had a lot of issues with workmen's We did, absolutely. And we still have probably a lot. So that is something to keep in mind. And I, you know, would like to know what the DPW director thinks about that, you know, in regard to the, how does that affect the Warren article that's in there now for the side um, packer. Also, I had another call. I had calls from people on the side streets that are concerned about having the trash pulled over to their side of having it all on one side. Yes, because yeah. they have a bit motel that right. takes up several yeah. lots, and they're they're upset about the pot. I don't know. Is it happening now? No, no, and it's not projected to happen. It's just something that was discussed. Yeah, well, they really, the people that own the Connecticut Village weighed in heavily yep. against having all of the other people's uh, trash in yes, there. Yes, I, I did talk to her. Okay. Yes. And so we had, we had a you. very long <laughs> conversation and went into great detail on it. Okay. Very nice lady. So I just thought I'd bring those things up. Good. 